Hello everybody, it's Lion from LionBricks.com. Today I'm going to show you how to build 10 more building ideas. As usual, there's a full parts list on my website linked below. To build a sheep, start off by taking a 1x1 brick with studs on all sides, and then take two 1x1 bricks with a pinhole through the centre, and just fit those onto two of the sides. You're going to need two of these sections, and you want to fit those to a 2x3 plate in black. So just go ahead and fit them on just like that. Then what you want to do is take a 1x2 plate and fit that underneath in the middle. And then fit four cones on all four of the corners. And once you've done that, go ahead and take two 2x2 two two plates in white, fit one on top and then fit one on the back just like that. For the back, you want to finish it off by placing a 1x1 one one stud in the very centre. This can be quite difficult. You have to just sort of get the angle just right, just like that, as you can see. And then once you've done that, you want to take two 2x3 two plates and fit those onto the sides. And then take two tooth pieces and fit them on the front, just like this. Then take one of these slope pieces right here and fit that on the very front. And to finish it off, you want to add two one by one round tiles with the printed eyeball and just fit those on the front like this. And there you go, that is your Lego sheep. To build a baby pumpkin, you can simply take an orange minifigure head and then fit on a modified green stud with some of the uh, sort of petals on the sides and that will create a very convincing baby pumpkin. You can also add on a couple more of those studs to create a slightly taller design and if you want you can even take one of the carved pumpkins and just turn that around to get the nice textured lines which will make it look a little bit more realistic. To build a drill you want to take a firing gun and then fit on a one by one round stud with a hole in the centre on the front and then take a screwdriver and fit that in there just like so and then on the back you want to fit a one by one round brick here this is the base of a lever and that will act as the back for the handle you want to take one of these pieces and just fit that on there make sure it's twisted just like that and then onto that you want to take a clip and just clip it on there just like that and then finally you want to take two of these Technic pieces and just slide them onto our clip make sure they're lined up with the bottom just like that and then if you orientate this correctly your drill will be complete to build a chair you want to start off with a 2x2 two two inverted dish and then fit on four tooth pieces which angle away from the centre just like this and then once you've done that, you want to take one of these pieces right here and you want to just sort of squeeze that into there. And then once you flip this upside down, you can take a one by one plate with a horizontal clip and that will clip onto the back just like so. And then you can take another of your inverted dishes and then fit that onto the back. Make sure it's actually the other way around like this. And there you go, that is your chair complete. If you don't have any of the official carrot pieces, you can create your own by taking an orange toothpiece and fitting that to a green minifigure hand. And then if you just angle that a little bit, as you can see, it represents a small little baby carrot. And then what you can do is put that in your crate full of other carrots and it actually looks quite convincing. To build a rake, you want to take a one by four long bar and then fit that to one of these pieces right here and then you want to fit that to a three long bar just like this and then finally you want to add on four minifigure hands make sure that these are all pointing towards the center just like this make sure they're all lined up and then you can change the angle to make it look just like a rake To build a micro helicopter, start off by taking a 1x2 plate in white and then fitting on a 1x2 jumper plate in light blue grey underneath. And then on the front you want to place a trans black cheese wedge and just behind that 
a horizontal white clip just like this and then on top of that you want to take one of these lever bases and place that at a slight angle and then towards the back take a small feather and you want to fit that onto it regularly and then turn it a little bit to create the back of the aircraft and then finally to create the propellers you want to take the actual levers themselves and fit them into this slot and just make sure that it's halfway in so it should be just like that and then if we take the other one you'll find that it can also slot in as well after a bit of trial and error as you can see I got both of them in and there is your micro helicopter complete to build a candle you want to start off by taking one of these tools and then fit on a cone to the bottom just like that and then on the top you want to take a one by one round stud with a hole in the center and fit that right on there like that then take two clips and place those on either end so one on that side and another one on this side and to finish it off you want to take three of these pins and just fit them into each of these slots so one on the left one in the middle and then finally one on the right and there you go that is your candle to build a micro speedboat you want to start off by taking a 1x2 tile in whatever colour you want your speedboat to be then take a 1x1 plate in white and fit on one of these angled slopes right here and then finally you want to fit on a horizontal clip towards the back you want to make two of these sections so that they can fit together like this and the way we're going to fit these together is with a one by one black tile so make sure they're lined up and then just take that tile and it should fit in between you can then sort of slot these into the position that you want I'm pretty happy with that and to finish it off you want to take one of these pieces right here which is a sort of minifigure windshield piece and that should if you line it up correctly slot onto the front of the boat there you go just like that and that is your micro speedboat to build a hat stand you want to start off by taking one of these steering wheel pieces and then fit on a six long pin all the way down there or a rod and then you can take a dish for the stand at the bottom just like that and then the hard bit is you want to fit three black sausages in between these gaps it's quite hard because it's very stiff but it is possible so what you want to do is just squeeze it in right there the first and second will be quite easy but the third one will be quite tight so let's see if we can get all three of these first try there's the first two and then I'm just gonna squeeze in the third one Ah, there we go so with all those three in you can then hang on whatever items you want for example I've got an Indiana Jones hat right here and you can just balance that on like that and you can also take something like a cap and put that on that one and there you go that is your hat stand that wraps up today's video I hope that you enjoyed for more information on this video and a full parts list check out my website linked below but until next time thanks for watching